Coach, playoff fever has immersed South Florida as we are at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Miami Dolphins. For a berth in the AFC championship game, off we go in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. That's fielded in the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. for the first time with Devontae Freeman. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Here's Jackson to throw. And that will be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. Strike first here in this opening quarter. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. And that makes it 7-0 Dolphins. To the touchdown. Here's McManus now to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. 
The Steelers take Come on, first man, let's go. At their own 25 yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys are nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Leonidas in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson. And he will take this down to the 10-yard line. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find a spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. After the turnover, here's Murray. Gets this one to Hill. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now the Georgia Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. So now things get interesting on third and goal from the one. This almost becomes a Darwinian call, doesn't it? Almost survival of the fittest here. I know we can go all cliche. I'll go ahead and do it. Who wants it more here? Who has a better leverage at the line of scrimmage? Let's go and see what happens. 58, 58 hey, 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 hey. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. From a yard out. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. Now McManus to tack on the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. He'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least the rush coming, and he's taken down. Matthew Ioannidis able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Jackson on third and long. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. 
But it's now fourth down. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Looks like the offense is going to take another shot here. They're going on fourth and 13. Here we go on fourth down with Jackson. And this is going to be incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. Murray now on first down. And he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. Marcus Davenport able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. 58, right over there, right over there. Yeah, yeah. Mike, 58, right there. Come to my work. We want it. Come to my work. Second down, Murray sets to throw. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. 58, boys, 58. 58, Mike. Let's go. 58's the Mike. 58's the Throwing is Murray on third down. They complete it to Hill. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A pretty sizable deficit here in the first quarter. This defense probably need to get off the field in those situations on third down. And you and I both know in this huddle before that last third down play, that's exactly what they talked about. Let's make a play. Let's get off the field. Let's reverse the momentum. Instead, they got hit with another first down, almost back to the drawing board. This defense porous so far in this first quarter. They face another first and goal. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. touchdown here in this first half and the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage now he's having a nice little first half here partner and it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come I mean two touchdowns already here through the second quarter there could be plenty more before this game is over after the touchdown here's McManus now to kick it away this is taken about seven yards deep and he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. 
It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Now throwing on.